Hello everyone, a new video on some interesting plant. You see here, it looks very tiny. I potted this in a tea glass, a very small glass you get from Walmart. There are literally one, two, three, four, five, six pseudo bulbs. I don't know if we can call this a mature plant or a tiny plant. I'm completely new to this variety. This is a cross between Dendrobium speciosum and Dendrobium speciosum dawn brown. It's uh, the flower spikes looks like a foxtail a spray of uh, flowers a, in bright yellow colored flowers. I got this for fifteen dollars in a in the eBay when I made this is an eBay purchase for me. Well, this is a very tiny plant. I'm not sure if we have to call this a Cattleya or a Dendrobium. I think it has to be. Uh, a hybrid between uh, those two species if we dig it deep down I'm not sure I'm I don't want to go technical I don't have zero knowledge on the parentage of this plant I just like the flower spikes and I thought maybe I could get some uh, medium-sized plant but I'm seriously surprised to see the size of the plant it's very tiny plant uh, to my liking but anyways nevertheless I immediately reported the moment and I made a mistake while doing the reporting. I put this plant in this tiny glass and uh, so that there is still enough room for this plant to grow. You can see it can easily overcrowd this. This is a even this small size glass is way big for this plant. Okay, and that's not the mistake I did. I put this plant in 100% sphagnum moss and that's the big big grave mistake I did when it comes uh, uh, to handling this plant number one it has a relocation stress and number two I reported it into 100% sphagnum moss and that resulted in uh, lots of roots getting lost you know most of the roots I think 80% of the roots are mushy and they're rotten and I have to uh, do some emergency report and do some uh, cleanup and disinfected the remaining uh, few roots and I placed this plant in 100% charcoal I feel really sorry for this plant because it has to go through the relocation stress followed by uh, abuse by sphagnum moss and immediately uh, uh, reporting into 100% charcoal which is a dry environment but I think this plant like that a charcoal and report you can see how much posit uh, positivity in the way the plant has reacted I counted the roots there are one two three four five six seven eight eight new roots this is abundant isn't it eight new roots trying to grow for this plant and I had to remove a couple of pieces of charcoal to show them I'm placing them back this plant is reacting in a very very positive manner and I think I have to continue him the same way I'm treating right now I am watering every other day uh, I'm watering the charcoal every other day and I wish the roots would grow really crazily and, and maybe maybe in three four months I should see a new suitable emerging and by the way I would like this plant to grow fast you sound me very greedy but uh, maybe I have to wait two or three or four years for this plant to bloom I initially thought this is a flower spike but that's not a flower spike friends that's a root that is a root it is not this is not a flower spike this is a root okay so even even this these are roots i have to cut them the black color is not uh, rotting it's because of the charcoal dust so kindly ignore that and i feel this plant has a long way to go from here on from now uh, the roots have to go deeper into the into the charcoal and they have to force their way into the charcoal and i would be feeding him 
high nitrogen fertilizer nitrogen rich fertilizer just to be on the safe side that he has enough enough nutrients to grow a new suitable to force a new suitable if he grows maybe three or four suitables in a span of couple of years he should overcrowd this glass and then he should spike out that's what i feel anyways thank you very much for watching another close look at the roots uh, i would definitely keep an update on this guy i would post you uh, more videos as soon as i get news from this guy and this is the news for now there are plenty of roots i place him in this container just to be as uh, 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 to have some stability to the glass and i put him in my south facing windowsill i'm giving him the cattleya conditions and let's see how he will progress in future thank you guys thanks for watching goodbye